Hi, my name is Kevin Keenahan and I'm working for Corec and in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to link a CSV point spreadsheet into Trimble Access for stakeout in the field. So I have my Trimble Access open and I'm going to go into General Survey. So once I've General Survey opened, I have no current job um, selected so I'll be creating a new job for this uh, demonstration. So I'll go into my job. I'm going to go into a new job and I'm going to call it CSV points set out which I've keyed in already. So for this example the template I have just set it up for total station but you may use a uh, GPS if you so wish and have the coordinates scale 1 and units in meters. For the link file I just click on none and you'll see here that uh, it's going into my folder um, into points.csv like I've uh, created earlier. I created this points um, spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel and I formatted it in five columns so first point, second easting, third norting, fourth elevation and in the fifth I had the description which is the feature code and I saved that Excel spreadsheet as a CSV comma delimited and I saved that onto my Trimble controller. Once I've that saved on my controller it browses into the controller to find the CSV file. If this is not shown here, you may go into Add and it opens up your um, file explorer to show you the points. So I have mine here, so I select on it and it instantly pops up here and in the list. I will tick the box to say that that's the points I want on my um, job and I'll accept there. And in there it says one is linked to my job. I can also link maps and surface files for, for this example I just link the one file and I'll accept. Once I've accept there it has added into my job the CSV file. So if I click on map it show that I have three points here indicated here so it's shown that I have a, a, a linked file indicated here so I can actually click on that point hold down on the screen and I can review that point there and it'll tell me that it was point number two the code was GY for gully and it was a comma delimited file that it was linked from and it has the easting, norting, elevation and code. If I escape out of that and click it to unselect it. If I escape from this screen I can also key in points at any time during the survey so if I wasn't given a CSV file I can get a still a spreadsheet of sheet of, of, of um, points and key these in manually. From there, I can go into key in points, and from there, I can actually key in points. So my next point would be point four. The code could be three, and my easting would say is one zero five zero. Norning is two zero five zero. Elevation is seventy and I will enter that and store it and now that point indicates a black dot as it's a keyed in point. So I can also add in more points here going to 1069 Norning 2056 Elevation 60 and hit enter and store and then it also shows that now I have the fifth point. At any stage I want to key in a control point um, I can also key in a control here and call this station, put in a thousand, two thousand, and I can by ticking this box here and it gets when I accept that, well oh, apologies, put in my easting, ordering, I hit store. Now you can see that I have a triangle and this indicates here a number six as a control point. At any stage I can go into options and change the coordinate view or I can go and hit the I symbol here and go into settings and display and show what I want to see on the screen so I can show the names or the codes and the elevations I can change the color to a different color if I want so blue I can change the exaggeration and I also could add in uh, DTMs here so if I want to change the height from the surface hit accept here and you'll see that they've all changed and now they're showing the code and the elevation and that's how to link a CSV file and also key in coordinates 
into Trimble Access.